space in the front. You got three minutes till this is supposed to start. We can, we can do that. All right, can you click over there and we'll give you another intro for the on-demand stuff? Cool, Greg. Hit record. I think he hit record. What's up, everybody? If you're watching later on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games, I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller. This is the Pure One at Tim Gettys. Let's him host. And we're about to start. The PlayStation 2017 Paris Games Week press conference, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is our watch-along reaction stream content. We are live, of course, right now as we record this on twitch.tv slash Games, just like we are for every big PlayStation conference or conference of any kind. You even do it for the Nintendo Directs. Mm -hmm. And all they're talking about usually is fucking cartoon and raccoons and Stupid shit. Cartoon raccoons, you I know what I mean? I can't fucking wait. We haven't talked about it. I can't wait for Animal Crossing Mobile. Oh, yeah? But well, that's not. That's a conversation for another time. Mm -hmm. Today, we're reacting to this. We're going to do possibly two streams, possibly one. Or pieces of content, I should say, later on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Uh, right now, we're getting ready for the PlayStation pre-show to start, which is going to have seven game announcements, 21 game updates. Then it's going to stop and go into the, pre the press conference proper, and we'll see what the hell they have. Tim, you're excited? I am very excited. I was just saying uh, a second ago on the live stream that this is probably the first major press conference I'm going into as blind as possible. I feel like there hasn't been leaks from this one. Yeah, that's, that's the, thing. the thing. No leaks, no scuttlebutt really going on. There's a couple people dropping things here and there the, on Twitter. Yeah, the sucker punch thing. Or the but it's thing. like, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Um, I haven't been this excited for, for something since E3. And mm. that goes a long, a long way, Greg. Sorry, the chat distracted me. Because it's set. somebody's yelling at Kevin. Not yelling. Gooden Gaiman 611 says the windows aren't level, Kevin, if you care. Whoa. I can't really notice, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think they are. All right. That guy can go to hell then. <sighs> Let's see what's happening here in the chat. But it is a very exciting time. They're saying this is the second half of E3. Yeah. Zyger keeps saying, yo, what about dreams? What about it? I think we're going to see Dreams today. Tim thinks it's going to be a VR only game. VR uh, heavy game. Okay. You think without VR, it's no good? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, not to say with VR, it will be. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Rumors out there about Sucker Punch having something else to happen. I think it, when we get to the main conference, we'll get all the first half 2018 games, or we'll get actual dates on them. Mm -hmm. I think God of War is going to be first out of the gate. Spider Man March. at the back of that. You think March? I forget. Was it March or February? There was. Remember, we did. Somebody wrote in asking a question about it, and we were all. And then, and they put in their question the fact that it was like every God of War has come out in this one month. Mm. So I guess I could March just feels on. right for that. Yeah, but so then Spider Man, Spider Man, they're gonna is gonna be towards the back. Yeah, March March is God of War month. Okay, so I think Spider Man is gonna be not way at the back, but at towards the back of whatever you call the first half of 2018. If yeah, you're Sony, and and that makes me wonder if they'll actually give it then a release date. I mean. Last year, early in the year, we had a lot of, of stuff with Neo and Nier and all that. Yeah. So, and Horizon, obviously. God, I can't wait for Horizon. So Can you believe Horizon just, DLC is so close? So close, man. Can't wait. So close. I That's wish there was anything else to play right now. It's just so fucking dead around here. Costellian you know? says, do you think we'll see some Death Stranding today? It's been a while. I don't think you will. I think they go. Oh, here we here go. Here we go. Roger. Oh, hype trailer. Let's go. You love Pre-show hype trailer. Pre-show hype trailer. Hey everybody, PlayStation's live at Paris Games Week 2017. We've got a huge show for you starting now. That was Sid Schumann, everybody. Follow him on Twitter. Oh, I love this B-roll. Look at that VR. Is that in front? It ain't dead. You did. There you go, Greg. There you go. Cheer! Everyone's golf too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Saving the Bandicoot. Lord and Savior Nat. Lord and Savior We'd like Nat. to announce we're bringing back Star Wars from Visceral Games. <laughs> we picked up Amy. Too we soon? picked up the IP. <laughs> we got everybody. God, wouldn't that be crazy if they did it's that? A Star Trek game. Hey, we hired everyone from Visceral Games. <laughs> Kevin, what's going on over there? You're doing that thing with your eyes where you're looking around looking for help. 
Welcome to PlayStation Live from Paris Games Week. We've got a big, big show for you here today. Lots like to talk about. But first, I want to introduce our crew. Starting with Comments. you. And no. you've got a very familiar face. Really? Yes. Where have you seen me before? Maybe the internet. The internet. Yes. YouTube, perhaps. Perhaps. Well, you might have seen me on PlayStation Access in ah. my little YouTube cupboard. This is, like, <laughs> this is a real treat to be somewhere as glamorous as this. We've got like an actual desk. Lovely backdrop, like this has got all the bells and whistles. Show you the know, fucking games! <laughs> <laughs> I've, got my, I've got my PlayStation Access partner in crime with me as well. Why, hello, Holly. The Shrek amazing Apple. Holly Bennett. Yeah, they've, they've also let me out of the cupboard yes. for a while. This <laughs> is really exciting covered. that we're allowed to have such a fancy, fancy arena. Who's your head in accent? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, accents and fun words. Team up with, uh, three <laughs> of us make PlayStation Access, words. which is a YouTube channel. We're based in the UK, but we make content for everyone. Yep. And we literally yeah. cover Everything from the world of PlayStation. Really? We eat, no, but sleep. everyone in the really? chat is because we have so many UK viewers. They love Robin Holly, oh, apparently. No, they're, they're a big well, deal. Oh, really? They got a lot of subscribers. A lot of views. I've just come back I know this sexy man in the Hell yeah. Again. <laughs> oh, secret right. thing. Uh, but it is a secret, actually. We can't tell you just yet what we were working on, but very soon those videos will be going it's live. It's going to be very exciting. It's soon? amazing. Yeah. I like Subscribe now. And. Rounding out our host here, Mr. Ramon Russell, the heartthrob of no. San Diego studio. Hell yeah. Love so Ramon. glad you could join us, bud. I'm glad y'all could uh, have us. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, like Sid said, my name is Ramon Russell. Shirt. I am from the MLB The Show development team back in San Diego. Speaking of them, shout out to everybody, all, all our development team back at home, cranking away on MLB The Show 18. We can't wait to tell you about it, but not today. Today, we're going to talk about all of this awesome content coming to PlayStation 4. That's Already right. Now, tell me a little bit about what you do with the MLB team. I know you do some streaming. Tell me a little bit about that. Right. So I do a little bit of everything. Most of the people <laughs> on our development teams, we wear many, many hats. Um, I'm a game designer sometimes. Other times, I'm a community guy. And other times, I'm here <laughs> in Paris with you guys on this stage, ready to see some really awesome content. <laughs> and really awesome content we are going to see starting any minute now. I want to tell you a little bit about what we've got lined up tonight. We're going to have have 20 plus game updates. We're going to have seven game reveals. It is and plus. We are going to be covering a wide, wide. <laughs> you know, you know, it's funny. Like, we have we're 20 plus game updates. Yeah, just say 21. Just 21. We're going to put 21 there. Updates for major oh, titles, but we big include the sequels, Final Fantasy Yay. updates. I mean, my goodness <laughs> gracious. And then the PlayStation Media Showcase, and who knows what's going oh, yeah. on there. Now That's just I know, right? an hour from now. I'm loving We've got a lot to get to tonight. Uh, people can't see it watching this, but behind okay me, you guys, there's a countdown timer. We dive right in. This is 50 yeah, we minutes. start off with a reveal. Yeah, that's exciting. Now, this is a sequel to a game that a lot of people really love, and I want to show the first gameplay of that, and we're going to do that right now. Pat upon Remastered 2. After a thousand years, the Mask of Vengeance has manifested itself Guacamole? again. Who will protect the Mexiverse against the powers of evil? A hero with determination. Who doesn't cry really? under pressure. It is, yeah. With a statuesque poise of the old gods. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's fucking drink box, dude. They're amazing. Chicken, remember, he gets turned into a chicken at times. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can do yeah, it. Hell yeah, man. I can deal with it. Cool. I'll, I'll I'm liking how we're starting this. Oh, no Vita logo, though. <laughs> R.I.P. Fucking hell. Guacamelee 2 kicking this off right. I love the first game. So excited to see the drink box is back with a sequel. Coming to PS4 soonish. I love soon how precise they've been in the release I'll date. Yes. Getting us really excited. <laughs> soonish. There's a 99% chance it'll come out soonish. Soonish. <laughs> and we are going to see some more gameplay of that now ish. And uh, this game is looking super, there it is, super fact. polished. You saved that one for you. Didn't show us that in rehearsal. Ah, uh, that's right. That I, 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 saved that that one one I kept that in my back pocket. Oh. So this game it. is looking super polished. And what we're seeing here. I believe Ooh. these are the dimensional oh, waves. Shovel Knight. Right? Yeah, and they allow you to solve Spectre puzzles and, and traverse obstacles. And you can see there, like, there's some hazards in, in the red dimension, and he's safe in the blue one. 
Awesome it's going to add like a design. really interesting uh, angle to the puzzling. Now, if you played the original Guacamelee, you know it's got a robust combat system, and we're going to see a little bit of that it. here, juggling with those dimensional waves. But uh, you know, the 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 mm. combat mm. in this game is just so satisfying. You've got these luchador, mm. uh, you know, sort of pro wrestling moves mixed up with sort of beat 'em up combat, and that this looks awesome. I never really played the, the first one. I played it. I played it on Vita at a. Um, Event. event one time. I'm now about like how much I'm gonna have to practice to get good. Oh, this is <laughs> no, this is cool. This is a new level two for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was you, not good at chicken. it. Chicken. Okay, so <laughs> this, is what, this, chicken. Is this is what chicken. we're here for. The chicken is back chicken and is better back. than ever. And this chicken has has seen a lot of <laughs> refinement, a lot of new chicken <laughs> mechanics <laughs> on deck here for Guacamelee oh, 2 coming to PS4. So fast. And uh, this you is know, what they've been spending all their time on. I mean, why not? Right? Wouldn't you? So yeah, this chicken yeah. here uh, is is quite a quite a tough customer. We're gonna see that here shit. in a second, but the, right now we're gonna see a new ability unlocked by I can only presume oh, the chicken, chicken oracle. Yeah, chicken, chicken oracle. oracle. <laughs> I, I swear that is a fried chicken shop somewhere in South London. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, it certainly it, should it's be. The house. He's oh, telling Jesus him, God. do not get turned into chicken nuggets today. That's it's right. Today, so I'll be the winner winner and not abilities. the chicken He's going to get turned into chicken, chicken nuggets shot. with this. Chicken oh. shot. This is a new ability here for the chicken. This chicken is really uh, a can-do chicken. And this, <laughs> this chicken shot, the chicken glide, we're seeing it all here. Now, this chicken shot is also useful in combat. So this chicken is, is a uh, ferocious, ferocious fighter. Crazy uh, human. Melee too. I love that. I mean, you would not want to mess with this chicken. Look at no. it go. All chickens in video games are ferocious. I've learned that through my years of gaming. A chickens murderous force. Where'd you learn that? Yeah. <laughs> chickens are this has got to be the most lethal looking I know that we're in the middle of this. <laughs> Guacamelee 2 is exciting. We love Drinkbox. I just See, got the following email. Try out the first uh, gaming controller, Fidget Spinner. So, uh, I do I've requested a copy for this Bluetooth. A Bluetooth. No, it's fucking Pork Tony. Bluetooth right fidget spinner. And play some games with it. Swamp level. Uh, I play Mario Galaxy. Grappling <laughs> <laughs> hook mechanic here. Looking great. It really is. It's Guacamelee like 2. Like wow. Great start. Maestro 990 says you know take something? a shot for every time to say let's, chicken. Let's, let's just keep going. I, I got yeah, two more announcements, and we're going to get to both of those right now. I love Sid so much. He's come so far, too. I remember when he just wrote about games. <laughs> I was talking about him. Was this last night? No. No. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, this looks pretty fucking sick. It's like... Hotline Miami, but what, what's the the movie I'm thinking of? This genre, or even the guy who does this? John Woo, right? John mm. Woo does action films like this. This looks really cool. It seems like it'd be kind of hard to control, though. Like, I get that it's like dual stick, yeah, but yeah. that cursor doesn't look too. Well, it's you know pre the Hong Kong master. All right, very pretty. Coming of age story, some teens. I mean, little kids. What's going on? Got some crab friends, giant enemy crabs. <laughs> Historically accurate battles. There is what the, 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 the kind of it is too. Look like a Famicom. It was a Famicom controller, but it looked like a PS2. You can suck my. No, down there it did, but up here. Like the controller was connected to. Okay. Time. Whoa! <laughs> Who saw that one coming? All right, you got some jams. We got the jams. Oh. Mm. I hope it's called Trinky Dink. Trinky Dink? Shrinky Dink. Shrinky. Shrinky Dink. It's about shrinking. They're Look at them. how small they are compared to all this stuff. I think it's going to be called Time Pals. An adventure in time. Gardens. Or the gardens between. That was going to be my second guess. That was two great new games we just got to look at. Uh, I got to say the gardens between looking awesome. It's got that art style. It's got the time mechanics. Holly, what do you uh, what do you make of that? that 42 minutes. Is 
completely my type of game. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly taken with it. That's I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps every time that music drops. It's a beautiful single player narrative driven puzzle game, but there's no time pressure on the puzzles, and I really like that. Friendship no text or dialogue, the world <laughs> tells you the story. <laughs> One button to interact, a lovely game to get into genuinely in love with it and it comes out late 2018. Nice. So the first trailer that we saw that was the Hong Kong Massacre developed by Vresky. Super stylistic trailer that looked insane. It had this like Max Payne, you Hotline, know, Hotline Miami, Miami yeah. a little Blade Runner vibe. Yeah, and yeah. you can expect that coming to the PlayStation 4 in 2018. Outstanding. So uh, over here, we're going to keep it. moving here. We got a lot to get to and frankly we're running behind. So Loco Roco Remastered <laughs> it's out now on PS4. We know Loco Roco Roco 2 remastered's coming, and right now we're going to tell you when. Okay. Hold on now. Then. Hold on now. You're making a Loco Roco 2. What about that Patapon now? Oh, again, keep the jam What about that Patapon? You know what I'm saying here? Because if we can be honest, Loco Roco sucks and Patapon's awesome. <laughs> all right, we can be this. honest. We, I mean, we're we can. Friends. We're friends here. We're all friends here on Twitch.tv slash kind of funny games. We can all admit that Loco Roco is an abomination. And if they're getting a sequel to their f sequel. <laughs> oh, well, I, okay, okay. Okay. And that was Loco 2, Loco Roco 2 Remastered, and that's coming out December 9th, finally, now we know. Holly, I know this is a, a big one for you. Uh, yeah, my bathroom is actually decorated <laughs> with Loco Roco stickers. She's not even oh, I don't know if we can be friends, Holly. Not, <laughs> you you seem you the wrong game. side, Holly. the wrong very obscure place to Loco Roco and Patapon! Played them non-stop. I love eating. And me and the Loco Roco game. You're winning me back, games. Holly. <laughs> uh, if you've never played Loco Roco before, you play this lovely little creature. You roll around. You eat the flowers. You get bigger. You complete puzzles. Sometimes you have to be a certain size to be able to complete them. And you sing to you know to wake up magical creatures. Uh, and it's utterly charming. I basically love Loco Roco. So Loco Roco. Under two, Anchor. This girl's crazy. WTF. <laughs> <laughs> And pre order start today. Oh, Outstanding. Today. Nice. So, Holly, I know you're also a big fan of The Sims. Yeah. And uh, I think we've got an update on that one. Uh, yes, we do. We know The Sims 4 is coming to PS4 in November. Uh, I'm, like you said, a huge Guys, fan. So, we have a first look at the expansions that are coming soon. Oh. So, I say we just check it out. Thank you, Sims. Let me see. Yeah. Sim City, Not you know Sim City. What I mean? We put that studio out of business. <laughs> Create powerful vampires. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to do that in this version of the game. <laughs> Build the perfect patio. Did you ever, did you ever get into the Sims? No. <laughs> Lord, no. I did for a while. Console. And that was The Sims 4. It's coming out November on PS4. And now I have a confession to make. I've actually never played a Sims game. Are you for real? Yes. It's like 20 years almost. Shame. 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 Ring the bell. I will say streets. I did get a chance to check it out on PS4. I spoke with the developer, and <laughs> I think this might be the one for me. It's a time to dive in. So what they've done is they've basically tried to capture the entire Sims 4 experience from the PC, and instead of kind of reconstituting or boiling it down or doing something else with this is really the pure version and it's been just reworked with the UI in mind it's going to have a much easier UI than we've seen it's going to have whoa whoa oh it's a star tv that's weird I have it on good authority that right. future PC free updates but uh, it never went out down there PS4 so uh it's good yeah, to hear. good stuff I think good that's stuff. really exciting it's weird uh, I think right, well, what's no. really important here is not <laughs> reimagining it's not reconstituting <laughs> I think I last played the herbs on PS2 <laughs> and those games weren't like traditional Sims games and that's really what people want so as Sid said exact same game but with PS4 friendly UI that's what really what you want and of course it's launching with all the friends on who says he's like not gonna city play living Come on, and don't vampires. Be that guy. Don't fucking lie to us. <laughs> to your Sims, Holly. Yeah, probably. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it starts with about three hours of building a house, and then you just crawl to them for the rest of it. <laughs> and lock them in a room with a free door to get out. Don't give my secrets away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So hey, we're keeping a pretty quick pace on today's show, Love it. and we've got yet another game update to share with you right now. And Twenty Rob, plus I got games. the sense you were kind of fired up for this one. I am massively <laughs> excited about this one. When I first heard this was coming out, um, 
I literally was jumping for joy. Like, <laughs> and Rob doesn't jump for anything. No, not Nothing. for anything. Um, so I believe we are going to have a little look at Tennis World Tour. Let's check out the trailer right now. <laughs> what? This is what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like hot, hot shots. shots tennis. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Somebody wrote into one of the shows, mm -hmm. not recently, but in the last, you know, calendar year, six months, asking what happened to all the tennis games. And I was well, like, that's a really good point. Because remember when their tennis video games were everywhere? Well, it was like, hey, remember Pong? Now you can play it with pretty graphics. Yeah. And everyone's like, eh. For a while, yeah, they were like, into it. it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, Nate Ahern, he's excited about this. Last tennis game I loved was on tennis Xbox, Tours, the original to Xbox. Next year. I forgot the Rob, name of it, yeah. though. Thoughts? I am original Xbox. Do you know this. what I'm talking about, yeah. though? Holly can attest to this. Oh, I've, been, uh, uh, I've been wanting a tennis game on tennis. PS4 okay. for It was forever. a big deal. Yeah. Like Someone let me know in the chat. It's been way too long since we've had a good, proper, deep tennis sim. Like The last one I really got stuck into was a Top Spin 4 on PS3. I played that so much, I was one trophy away from platinuming it. Um, and I understand some of the devs from Top Spin 4 are working on Tennis World Tour. That's true. And there's going to be, I think they've got uh, 30 licensed players so far. There's a full-on career mode. And it's really focused on the simulation of it as well. Um, so if you're after yeah, that deep, really sim-heavy tennis game, this is going to be the one for you. I think MLB has got, has got some competition oh, okay. now. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll fix this after the live stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll handle this after we're done. Well, uh, the excitement is palpable, and I want to just take a quick status check, just take Thank a you moment for joining to us catch tonight. our breath here. <laughs> a lot of people. PlayStation's media showcase here at Paris Games Week is just about 30 minutes away. So you know that's going to have some good stuff, and we're going to be cutting live for that Top right spin. after this program. Yep, that's what are and uh, we are running a bit behind. We've got a lot to get to. We've got a lot of announcements. We've got reveals updates to share right here and I want to kind of bring the conversation back to PlayStation VR because it's yeah, just you so celebrated its one year birthday. Ah, happy birthday. That's right. Uh, more than 100 games well, out really there for sure. PlayStation <laughs> VR. Tons more due for 2018. Oh, Sid? Ramon, yeah. what's your favorite PSVR style, game? Man. Resident Evil. Yeah? <laughs> Scared the living crap out of me. Um, I played the first <laughs> few minutes regular on my television then I popped on the PSVR. Completely different experience. Uh, I can't lie, I'm a scaredy cat so I tried to get the shotgun and leave the house but they didn't <laughs> really work 906. Out. So why are they bringing us up to speed if they're behind. Um, we're not going to talk about that today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right, Rob didn't either. So no, I didn't too either. Much. It's way seven, too man. scary, but a game what I a really game? enjoyed. Yeah. And I'm not even a massive Trekkie, yeah. but I really enjoy playing uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew. We played it in the PlayStation Access office, four of us all, all playing. I think you, we're you a lot each of have a, stuff like a different role on the bridge. Like Tyson I was the too. helmsman, Dave was the cool, captain. <laughs> um, and you have to really coordinate to achieve your objectives. And it's like the ultimate wish fulfillment. He's walking around like 2017 Assassin for Assassin's Creed. It's Star Trek. It was just the hood's a really, really up there. experience. Exactly what PlayStation VR is good at. Amazing game. You literally did nothing but squabble. It was a video of you squabbling. Oh, squabble. Now, while you like to sit, you know, quietly on the bridge, this is my jam. Give me a gun. Give me giant sorry, alien what is, spiders is and let this me do town This is, hey, VR's had a great year. Uh, Let's really talk about some of the cool okay. shit happened this year in VR. I think also had the aim controller. Uh, and I just had that feeling that if anyone should walk into a living room when I'm playing Farpoint, I might look slightly more badass while in my pajamas <laughs> because I've at least got the aim controller. Played it in co-op as well, which just means you and a friend can bicker while you try and take on the aliens. Hey. Very exciting, but this is, this is the highlight for me. Oh, we're blocking him. Super hot oh. VR. <laughs> Clements is behind me. <laughs> Ryan Clements is right behind Tim. We love Ryan Clements at Plum Sider. VR. I loved it on PS4, but on, on and PlayStation VR, just so immersive. Like we're we're all don't worry, Captain. Like, it's all working great. There he is. There he is. Ryan like Clements. I'm these guys. I'm throwing and Justin said, but you're Ryan Clements, yay. At them. Um, dual wielding here, oh, like so a, cool. like some sort of John Woo movie. It's just a riot. I mean, it's just pure fun. I want to play super hot fun. And oh, you have it. That's no. sort of oh, uh, some of the highlights it. for PlayStation VR that are out now. Enough about me, enough about us and our favorites. <laughs> it's time to take a look at the future of PlayStation VR because there's it. a lot of great games coming. We've got two of them to share with you right this minute, so let's check it out. Disruptive games. Just Rabbit spiders come out. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I would just fucking take the mic set and beat myself <laughs> over that. Really. Multiplayer. Yeah. 
and the champion. I love doing this with you, Greg. I love doing it with this you. This is fun. It's about well, you like, hey, it's our job to just sit here and talk about video games. Sure. Watch cool conferences. If you like that, subscribe to us here. Twitch.tv such kind of funny games. Or just click the follow button. You don't have to subscribe. Whoa. Thank you. It takes more than a fancy airship to make it in the arena. Okay. It takes a fearless captain and a steady crew. Join today and experience heart-stopping thrills, life or death battles. This is all I can make you say. Just think it off, ladies and gentlemen. Fight alongside your heroes, or take them on. Wealth and glory can be yours. No. Do you have what it takes? Damn. Not sure that I do, Greg. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if I do. Bow to blood. That's a good name. That was two brand new games revealed for PlayStation VR, both scheduled for release in 2018. Now, looking at Bow to Blood, Thanks, Rob, bud. you're a Star Trek Bridge Crew fan. I kind of thought that might be kind of up your alley. I mean, for me, that's what PlayStation VR is amazing at, letting you experience things that you're never going to experience anywhere else. And so piloting a really high-tech airship in Bow to Blood, ben yes, Thomas is that is VR right up my ass. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a really it's unique game as well. It's set in this kind of fantasy reality TV show. We've got other contestants or enemies, and, and you could betray them or you can make allies with them. And also, it's procedurally generated as well. So every time you play Bow to Blood, you're going to be getting a completely new experience every time. But for me, it's just, you know, airships. I like the shirt airships you in too. VR. That's what it's about for me. Absolutely love it. I wouldn't wear it. But it's because uh, my boobs would be excited. Uh, Megalith. We got a yeah, quick look at that going one. Down here. What do you yeah, I need a logo to cover the chest. So Megalith is actually an action-packed shooter. Yes, it's a hero shooter. shooter it's yeah. Hero shooter. So easy. you're a titan trying to become a giant god. Has destructible environments. You get free locomotion. It's also coming out in 2018. You know what we should do? And we the should steal Ramones from PlayStation. I am okay with that idea. Veterans, and they're excited I like it a lot. About what they can Let's do let them keep cutting his teeth over here. But I didn't even come here and he's been going to have totally new experiences. Loads of He's been a very so nice guy to me. Dude, he's the best. Always. Do. Absolutely. And one of the great things about PlayStation he is he's instrumental but also in Alexis putting a fresh perspective and on Hunter familiar oh, yeah. relationships. So, in that so was note, I, but let's you know, take a look at Ultra Wings VR coming to PSVR. You guys remember Pilot Wings? I'm not sure. Ultra Wings. You are cleared for takeoff. Oh, it's flying simulator. Oh, God. Did the new Ace Combat ever come out? Ace Combat no. 7? No, no, no. They had a wow. baller ass trailer at last PSX. Oh, I played it at Judges. Wow, it feels like that game should have come up by now. But that was the one where I was in a cockpit and like in VR looking around. And, like, it took a while. Once you get like settled in, you get your legs with it, it was cool, but. This just has that look that a lot of PSVR games have. That I'm yeah, like, it's like a demo. Yeah. It doesn't look like a full one experience. Here we go. I'm just kidding. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> I was the hero shooter there, Don. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <laughs> this is, um... What the fuck is this? This is... I played this one in Judge Week 2 on uh, Rift. I'm, like, if I'm thinking of the same game, where it's locomotion. Like, you need to... Oh. Like, you're, like, you're, like, skating like this. And you have to, like, climb up walls and shit to keep your mind from going. But the art style is different, so maybe... But it was... Sur no, this Yo, is it. This, this is looks awesome. I played this. It's fun. This is the first game today that I'm like, I actually want to play this. This is a LaCroix get hype moment. I don't know if I'm going to go that far, but it is definitely my like, like, consider my interest peaks moment. 
2017. Sure. Spring Sprint Brand. adapter. If you remember uh, me walking around with like the blue headband obnoxious, it was a Sprint Vector one. Got it, okay. Ooh, that Sprint Vector, my goodness, I've got the vapors, I mean, what do you make of that, Holly? The thing about oh, it I was... It. it reminded me of a manga I used to be I really played it. into called Eddie, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was when uh, as a, as a I, my elbow was hurt, I forgot, when you remember this one, my elbow oh, hurt yeah. real bad, so I couldn't do locomotion really well, uh, so it was every horrible... It was like high school in general, where it was... I was It was the horror of high school gym, of being so out of not being able to do anything, but then also there was like, you know, they had like some girl there who was like the PR handler or whatever, who was very nice or whatever like but she's like trying to coach me i'm like please just stop talking don't pity me right yeah. now you know what i mean she's like no you do okay i'm like fuck off i'm not climbing the fucking wall uh, i got no mocha mocha motion so to get all the gold medal so that's a robust cool. experience that was like my top game looks uh, like it kind of rhythm based VR. style uh, thing we actually when, do have an update to share when you right flow now, it's great around a favorite that was announced at e3 now if you watch the e3 playstation media showcase you saw a quirky delightful little game called moss and we're delighted to say that this one is actually coming out february 2018, nice. so we can finally announce that. Ramon, you got a chance to play. Yes, I did. The developers at Polyarch were so kind to send me a build that I got to play last week. I'm loving this game. So you control this mouse. Her name is Quill. She got this little sword, this awesome little like leaf thing on her arm, which is kind of cool. And what's really awesome about this game is the fact that you're using the analog sticks to control Quill, but when you're doing the puzzles in 3D space, Moss you're hot. actually Moss using the, the motion controller. Let's play a YouTube.com slash Yes, like exactly. Oh, yep. oh, was it a demo Man, that came amazing. out? Yeah, I'm got ready. it. So yeah, we, we, I thought the game was released. Right? Yeah. The puzzles and Quill at the same time. Yeah, we played time. it for exactly, you three weeks. Exactly, exact same time. I really, really love this demo uh, that they sent me. I, this game is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to play it. And it's a dungeon crawler with a little mouse. It's a little tiny mouse named Quill. So cute. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, this is one of the things I just love about VR is just new ways to interact. I mean, that's kind of, I think, deep down what we all look for in gaming. I do look and to interact something that in games. PlayStation VR are actually well positioned to provide. Ooh, combat, right? Here's, here's a first look at some of the combat. Uh-oh. Fuck him up, Will. We'll take care of these little red up, beagles. So what's awesome is with the dual shock, you can freeze some of the enemies. So you're doing both. You're doing both at the same time. That's cool. And does I like it feel that. like easy to do both at the same yeah, time? Yeah, I didn't have a, I didn't have trouble at all controlling Quill or some of the puzzles at the same time. That's really nice. Just pull those steps there. up, turn them around, and control Quill to get her to run all the way up. Oh man, I would have played this nonstop if they'd sent me that demo. That's <laughs> awesome. So this is coming out February 2018. Pre-orders start very soon. Wow. That's right. Well, thank you for that hands-on report there, Ramon, on Moss. It's coming February 2018. Very excited about that one. Here's an update on another title that was announced for PlayStation VR at E3. That's Star Child. We've got a brand new trailer. And there's, well, I'll just leave it to the trailer. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Bettner. I'm the founder and CEO at Playful. And I'm Kynan Pearson, the director of Starchild. Starchild is a cinematic platforming adventure game. You play a Spectra, a traveler who crash lands on an alien planet during an important mission. You're about to see one of Spectra's unique abilities here today for the first time. We hope you enjoy this global debut of our new trailer. <laughs> oh, game trust game, okay. Man, if they had Song of the Deep 2 during this. Oh, Marin. When the beat drops. Some of this cinematic platformer without showing the gameplay. Yeah, yeah. It's just cinematic. It's just a, it is just a cinematic. Very hard to sell VR games. Hundred percent. I get it. 
But I'm all sold on. for Star Child here. We just debuted. And, uh, I got to admit, guys, we're a little puzzled by this unique ability. <laughs> Any ideas? It's like, left what was me that? with more like questions than yeah, I have more answers. Questions than answers in it. In it. <laughs> it looked like she was projecting herself out of her body and manipulating, like maybe astral projection. I want to say. Uh, Is that what it's good. called? Right. Chat, not into that one. That sounds about right. Maybe telekinesis. Maybe yeah. Sandman six nine six. What the fuck is even happening, Wall? So. Lots more to come here on the show, and we haven't even gotten to the PlayStation Media Showcase, by the way. So we are going to have a big Final Fantasy update for you at home. We're going to have a big update uh, for more VR. We're going to have more game announcements. And then, of course, that PlayStation Media Showcase that's coming really, really soon. I want to check back before we move on, though, on one of the year's biggest PlayStation VR titles. Resi 7? Yes. Surely. <laughs> Resident Evil 7. I mean, Rob. they don't come bigger than Resi 7 on VR, I don't think. And the exciting uh, news is uh, there you know is you sold me on new it. free DLC for Resi 7 coming in December. Free 99? Free 99. Resi 7. I mean. free. <laughs> um, even more exciting, it stars fan favorite Chris the Muscles Redfield. <laughs> Everyone loves Re Chris Redfield. He's just, I mean, it's going to be an awesome new take on the Resi 7 formula. And it's entirely playable in VR, again, just like the main Resi 7 game. Um, Redfield is like a, an action hero, so it's going to give a really different spin on, on the gameplay to Resi 7, I think. And we can have a look at the trailer for the Not A Hero DLC right now. Lucas, you'll pay for this. You're going to fail, and then you are going to die. I'm Lucas Baker. Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. We didn't get much from the first unit. I hated those contact. guys. Oh, Luke is a fucking psycho. I'm not sure what's worse, him or those things. We gotta get out of here. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck! 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 Jeez! Did you see the jigsaw? Fucking saw. No, I didn't. Please tell me what I'm looking Tomorrow. at. Tomorrow. I have no idea. It's something new. Exercise extreme caution. <laughs> uh, what am I looking at? Uh, it's a torso walking. <laughs> Got a walking torso coming at you. This is some saw shit. That's different. Like it haven't been since we got here. Not a hero. Look at him. How do how do they think that that's okay? What the, him yelling? No, he, that's not how he looks. It's like let's just fuck it. Fuck any any type of character model. Sometimes you gotta just do it, man. I guess. Play, you know what I mean? Let them do their thing. Don't get in the way of the creative process. End of Zoe. Resi 7. Brand new look at uh, Resident Evil 7's free Not a Hero DLC. Uh, Rob, I know you're a big fan of Resident Evil. I mean, it's, yeah, just, it's I mean, just one of the best of the year. It is. I think it's in my top three of the year. Yeah. I spent the majority of Resident Evil 7 hiding and or running away from things. I think now I'm playing as Chris Redfield, <laughs> I'm going to be punching stuff in the face. Right in the no, face. It's going to be, it's gonna be awesome. Now. Yeah. Now, Ramon, I'm uh, told you're a big fan of Halloween. I most certainly am. I love Halloween. Uh, and actually, we have two PSVR games launching in time for Halloween. Let's take a look at this spooky pair. Ooh. Oh wow, this way. This kinda, I'm not, I'm not getting ahead of myself, but imagine Taco Master in VR. That looks like what we're getting. <laughs> I will now teach you the ways of our art. So here's the thing, Greg. Yeah. The dead are hungry. Yeah. Dead hungry. Beat them. It kind of looks like first person Taco Master. I gotta say, I'm gonna try it. Ugly Foot says this all looks like wee crap. <laughs> it did. It did look like wee crap, but it also looks like an easy trophy. 
It's back full. Hello? Yep. We, we did a let's play of this. We did do a let's play of this. Yeah. Yeah, because we're trying to do a let's play, but we're being quiet because <laughs> the enemies will come get you. I'm going to come get you. We did not do it in VR, though. No. Get the European well, date shit out of here. Uh, wildly different takes on the horror genre. I guess that's fair to say, right, Rob? Yeah, I mean, Stifled looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> and it also, like nothing I've ever seen either. From uh, from the trailer, it looks like you have to kind of make noise to paint a picture of, of the world around you. But at the same time, that noise could attract things that you don't quite want to be attracting. Things I think that go bump in the yeah. night, maybe. <laughs> I think we should make Dave play it. Yeah, Dave play it. Absolutely love that game. If you're watching Dave, you're going to be playing Stifled very soon. Um, Dead Hungry also looked awesome though, Holly. Uh, Dead Hungry, as we've already learned through my love of Loco Roco, suits me just fine because yeah. I enjoy food. Uh, <laughs> it's from Pixel Junk, so you know it's kind of going to be crazy. The idea is the zombies are really hungry, so you're making fast food and literally lobbing it at them to cure them, actually. Cure them. We're not trying to kill them right. or harm the zombies, we're trying to make them better. It just looks like Pixel Junk madness. Like, you can create different burgers by throwing things together. Um, I'm in. Brain Throwing burgers. french fries at zombies. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm in. Sold. So that's two PlayStation VR games coming out tomorrow in time for Halloween, yeah. which is awesome. Um, there's another PlayStation VR game coming out very soon, League of War, and I believe we can see a trailer for that right League now. of War. Fuck it! Let's make some money! Oh, uh, what? Not what I thought from League of War. League of War! That's exactly what you should put in your trailer. A whole bunch of locks. Here we go. Here we go. This guy's do Uh oh. I gotta get in on this. A challenger approaches. How did it know she looks like that? <laughs> They're having so much fun. I want to play with them. <laughs> League of War VR Arena. All right, that was League of War. Uh, I'll tell you, those two look like they were having the time of their lives on that couch. I mean, they were just- <laughs> They're already all making fun of them. <laughs> smiles and horse play. Uh, but is it RTS or tower defense or what is it, Ramon? It's, it's a little bit of both. So yeah. League of War, you basically, you can grab a tank, pick it up and drop it on the battlefield and watch it go and blow stuff up. And who doesn't want to do that? So it's going to have a really, <laughs> really Lucky really Rabbit nice says, at this point, I buy a VR game that shows me a world where there's no VR. I really like the use <laughs> of the social screen. Very cool, very cool. So, uh, is that it for PlayStation VR then? No, because you promised. Oh, to yeah, that's right. That's right. Minutes left. Me mm -hmm. that Do you want to break this into it? Monster I of the Deep Final okay. Fantasy 15. Unsurprising. I'm a massive Final one, Fantasy fan. And I'm really else. excited cool. to get to show you a little bit more. I've got to Ooh. play a bit of it. And I got to she speak got a to Fantasy yes, recently does. as well. With you know that. I've played Final Fantasy once. I'm curious. Now, before I talk about anything else, it is a This is the one you've been waiting for, Greg. So, you don't need to own 15. It's not DLC, it's a standalone game. Stand up, never VR. Roll, roll. So for anyone who's played the game, you'll recognize some of the locations, but I have been told there's some new ones as well, which is quite exciting because it's a beautiful world. Now, just like it is in 15, it feels quite similar to playing the fishing in 15, almost like it sounds daft, but what the VR you know, would be much. for the fishing in 15. Uh, different tackles, baits, different rods and lines. Put them all together to create the right rods for catching different fish in different locations at do, different times. Do they include a VR fish cleaning mini game? Chocobo. Can you imagine that would be? Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. We got chocobos now, Carl. Look at this. Look. Yeah. So anyone who played good. Final Fantasy XV's uh, online beta for comrades will recognize the character customization. It has incredible customization. Best RPG hair I have seen in a long time. That's important. 
I'm you'd not expect, carrying that. You'd expect nothing less from Final Fantasy. You think I'm that was on purpose? Right? Connoisseur, she, you she, know this. She yeah, the dresses rather than scantily clad. Oh, yeah, like, and they have the thing. Uh, like, we're gonna hide her. He's, he's holding this thing like, don't. You know, it's like your da- her dad. It's like yeah. you're like, all right, honey. He told me that the whole team is in it. You know, Ignis, Noctis, Gladio, Prompto. Uh, and it actually takes sick. place That's within the Final Fantasy 15 game. It takes place quite early on. You're basically going out, you meet the guys, and they're like, hey, why don't you come fishing with us? You know you my favorite part of Final Fantasy 15? What's that? Well. Not the fishing. Um, oh, no, really? But a lot of people did like it. Stunning. Did they? Yeah. I think the biggest takeaway for this for me as a huge Final Fantasy fan is this VR game here put me into the world in a way that not even Final Fantasy 14 does. It really allows you. You're at the camp with the guys. You're able Jimmy to Crow. steal food off Noctis's plate, and he'd like try and bat you away. That was like the coolest thing in Final Fantasy 15, the camping. So to be in that is going to be like a massive wish fulfillment. It, it really was. Uh, it, it gave me something that fanfiction.net has never been able to. It really <laughs> put me into the world. Hashtag free the uh, boot. But it gets better. I'm still allowed to talk about Final Fantasy 15. Oh my. More. There's more. There is uh, Final Fantasy 15 episode Ignis. So we know it's on the way. Gotcha. He is best boy. Do not at me. It's not a discussion. <laughs> Um, but I'm See, really she, excited I like her, and then she says show, stupid uh, stuff like that. Some new details, Ignis? and I can also reveal the fucking forty-five-year-old man hanging out with these children. Oh, 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 a king cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward always, accepting the consequences and never looking so back. So skinny. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. oh. Thing from here. Okay. Let's make for the altar. Why not? Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, well, look who it is. What could one of his majesty's royal retainers be doing here of all things? Bloody hell. Join me. I can secure us a way to the king and the oracle. Did you fuck with Metal Gear Rising? I did not, no, I did not like, I, when I played it at events and stuff, I didn't like it. I'm just, I'm, that's the thing, I was like, you know, you, we always talk about this in, when it comes up with Devil May Cry. Versus that action game I'm not into, you know what I mean? Like, something about it I just don't like. Oh my god, I love it so much. I like being grounded, I guess. to live and love as you please. So did you like Rising? Uh, yeah, I did. I never beat it, though. I think I only got, like, halfway and I forgot what happened, but... I, I want if they like remastered it or whatever, I'd I go back. through it. Swore an oath to stand with Noct and keep him safe. Whatever it takes, I will protect him. It's your boy Ignis, Craig. I know that's that, the oath must have been that you'll never age, but you'll sound like your 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 voice will age. Yeah, Let me your body make won't. A suggestion. Rather than follow this flotsam and float away to a watery grave. Why not come with me? Who's this Johnny Depp looking motherfucker? Who's the bad guy? Captain what Jack Sparrow say? showing up wanting his mouth. <laughs> Arden. Massive eight. There we go. Makishimoto somewhere out there. He's excited about it. Mm -hmm. I love him now. Pilot H45H1M with the daily status report. Smooth sailing and nothing but sunshine. Wh what? Yeah! VR's getting crazy. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Tim? I'm into it. Oh, God. This is too much. But you want to see that, you'd be in your own VR headset. I'm into it. Yeah, this actually looks really cool. I could do without the Avicii cutaways, but. You know, just let 
them have some. All right, and that was in Vector, actually a game that was announced right here at Paris Games Week about two years ago. Ramon. What did you make of that? Uh, it was a very awesome game in a tradition of like amplitude, frequency, a little thumper in there. It's Eight minutes, awesome. everybody. And it is coming to PS4. Yeah. It is, yes, it is. Yeah, it looked like those I'm games sorry, mixed with uh, <laughs> Race the Sun. Yep, Race the Sun. Stop talking about Get Final it out. Fantasy. No, I, I'm allowed to talk about Final Fantasy. No, it looked, <laughs> it looked incredible. And uh, for anybody who knows, it takes place in Altissia. I don't want to give too much away, but anyone who's played that game, chapter nine, right? Chapter nine, uh, and it, it fills in basically what happens. And I don't know if you saw it, the ring. You put the ring on. Let's not give away any spoilers. But we are finally going to get to find out, you know, a big thing about Ignis's story that until now has been a complete mystery. I mean, so it's going to be awesome. There's many, many people speculating on Tumblr. Let's put it that way. So <laughs> right. who knows? I can only imagine, right? So uh, great show so far. I mean, I feel like I think we we brought some significant updates here. Uh, favorite moment, real quick to call it out. Uh, the Hong Kong massacre. They yeah. looked insane. I can't wait to play that. Yeah. What about you, Holly? Uh, I think it was Gardens earlier on. No, but sorry, I forgot. Get your pee break in now, everybody. Yeah. It's getting close. Between. Yes. Between. That's the one. That's Thank right. you. Pray um, to so Shuhei Yoshida. I know one thinks I'm going to say Far Fantasy, <laughs> but Garden Between. I don't know. There's something about that. That's my jam. Hit good personal deep stories. Wrong. It looks beautiful. I mean, for me, it's got to be. It's got to be the tennis. Mm -hmm. Tennis World <laughs> Tour. That's I keep going on about it, but I've been. I've been waiting for a really deep good tennis game for so long. So Here's what I'm tennis putting out there to the coming, world right now. There aren't enough Shuhei Yoshida gifts in you know, Twitter. i hyped for that. Got to say for me, it's probably Guacamelee 2. Yeah, so yeah. glad that we can get that out there. It's coming soonish. It looks gorgeous. It's got the four-player co-op throughout the entire uh, campaign. It's got enhanced chicken mechanics. Chicken, I mean, the chicken is, chicken is, is right. the highlight of the show, right? That's why everyone's here. Finger licking good. Shot. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. that in. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, hey, uh, we are almost out of time. That big PlayStation Media Showcase is right around the corner, and who's to say what's going to happen then? You are, uh, Sid. You know. Two more games that we need to announce. So, uh, what do you guys think we should do about that? I think we should announce them. Should we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. Yeah, that's my good plan. plan. So, let's kick it off with the very first game we're going to be announcing, and we'll do that right now. It brings back bloody stumps. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did I touch ah! the laser wall? Huh? Oh my god. She's some kind of fox dragon. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't a child at all. That's what that was. Oh, today? Okay. And that was a first look at O-Ray. O-Ray, by the way, is how that's <laughs> pronounced, if you were wondering. Uh, Thank you. It was this magnificent, gorgeous-looking game, and it's actually uh, coming out a little later today on PlayStation Store. Yeah. O-Ray out today. There you go. I've been ah. saving that. I've been saving it. Oh, Beautiful. Um, I thought it was it to incredible to look at. I got real Journey, Abzu-esque yeah, vibes yeah. from it. That's It's totally, again, my kind of thing. I really believe with, with gaming... What an awful name, says NewsGuy87. I never really considered indie. Yeah, that's bad. And then I started adding that in, and I feel like... I always compare it to having a balanced diet. Yeah. And it's like a for balanced every gaming diet. A balanced gaming diet. And these are the kind of games for me that balance it out. So in this particular game, you're exploring the world as a child that can turn into a dragon. You've already seen that in some of the b -roll. That's an easy sell, isn't it? I mean, it's yep. really dragons. easy sell. Uh, the idea is there are these titans within the world, and they have very important jobs, but for some reason they've stopped doing their job. So you're trying to convince them to basically go back to work uh, by, uh, by doing, you know, going through the world, solving puzzles, exploring... To the extreme, says Shuhei, let games change their names. Well. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. I'm good. so excited that it's actually going to be available. I don't know what Holly today. said, but Rabbit on Strikes says, closed-minded ass Holly. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I absolutely mean, stunning. What you said about Journey and Abzu is 
I think on Brad Rye guy L5 says can really PlayStation just hire kind of funny to host these shows hashtag let kind of funny host the thing is to be clear if we were there we'd be making the same dumb jokes well yeah keep in mind too like yeah how hard it is and they're doing a really good job they're doing a really good job yeah getting all the information because this is informational we would be there we wouldn't be allowed like right now I can say pussy I can't say pussy on PlayStation that's true you know what I mean that is true I gotta say I don't know what there would make you you make you want to say it but Greg what do you think of Ure Pussy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cut the feed. Cancel Paris Games Week. They were, they were rolling out like Pat upon two, and they just take it away. <laughs> just exciting stuff all around. Uh, but I got to say that PlayStation Media Showcase is right around the corner. Uh, I want to make a, a, a shout out though to everyone watching live. We've got a lot more to come. After the showcase, if the showcase ends, there's more to come. We're going to dive deeper into all those games that you saw at PlayStation Showcase, all the new stuff you see there. Uh, are you excited, guys? You oh, excited? Yeah. I mean, I'm massively Two excited. Two minutes, everybody. Yeah. That's what it's all about, it's, right? Yeah. These Exciting moments times. where we all come together, the, the audience Thanks to Lindsay in, in the chat for allowing people to say pussy. Because <laughs> I already started putting in there, and yeah, it was like people well. had to approve it. Like, I have absolutely <laughs> no idea. Oh, yeah, no, we're actually, I don't know anything. We're about to They keep it under lock. They keep it under lock. It's like, could a be big, anything. it's like a big sporting event. Like, it it's is. the kind of nerves you feel, like, mm -hmm. ready to see something epic and amazing. Yeah, and I can't uh, wait. who knows? I mean, it's just, it's literally a couple of minutes from now. <laughs> and we're going to be cutting to that live here in just, uh, just a couple uh, of minutes. This is how we're spilling time. time. We, uh, we do have Two one minutes. other thing we wanted to share with you. Wait now, for them to say in my ear that I'm allowed to say the next thing. i about all night long, but I've had to restrain myself. Not yet. Not yet. You could talk about it now. And just a handful of seconds from now, we're going to talk about and show uh, first details on a brand new game no, that's no from an independent studio, and it's the uh, it's, a, it's a new title from a, a developer that's actually rather mm. celebrated. So I would suggest <laughs> that we cut to that now, and for all of you watching at home, enjoy the show. Good old Moss Mouth. Oh. Is oh, is that the uh No, it's not. We have a little baby. Real treasures found. Oh. And they also got a doggy. That's a cute dog too. <laughs> I don't know if it is. <laughs> you know, y'all be haters. Man, look at this. God, he's dying. Following in fading footsteps. He's gonna be dead in the next Polaroid. <laughs> No. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead, everybody. Throwing it up. Spelunk dead. Didn't play Spelunk. You don't know the guy's name. Spelunker is dead. Spelunker. <laughs> Looking to the skies. That fucking dog, dude. Dude, the dog's cute. Can we just, we're just you getting the dog's there. coming on the adventure? The wall. Yeah, of course they are. Spelunky too. Dang, Andrew Goldfarb's having a heart splush, attack somewhere. Splush. <laughs> The only way it could get worse for Goldfarb was like Splunky 2 featuring Persona. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> That's a big one. That is a good. Yeah, it is a big one. Here we go. Oh, now give me a proper hype trailer. Oh, let's fucking go. This is fucking rad. Twist metal too. Half of it just fucking explodes and falls over. They cut to somebody in the, they, they're playing in Vector yeah. and they're making the music for this thing. <laughs> they're all in, man. Good lord. Last of Us Part Two. Oh, 
Tony Musha. Shut up. I, I was thinking it, but no. I'll tell you right now, if you're a headphone user and this is Oni Musha 2, fucking pull him out Oni immediately. His team is going to lose his goddamn mind. You are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Oh, that's the Samurai. Okay. People are saying Bushido, Bushido Blade too. Still looks awesome. It does. It does. Whoa! What? Shit! What? Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen, wow! Jim Ryan. Oh, that was a roller coaster. As it was going, I was like, "Is it Onimusha? Like we would have seen some demon shit going on." What a great way to open Paris Games Week. Yeah. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's now five years since we launched PlayStation 4, and I still have the honor to unveil a brand new AAA game, the astonishing Ghost of Tsushima from Sucker Punch. And you know what? That's not the last surprise that you're about to get. You've seen the power of PlayStation 4 provides you not only so with immersive high. storytelling, but also allows developers to fulfill their wildest dreams. The great news is that these developers are now extracting more and more power from the machine with increasingly spectacular results. That's why a single creative mind like Toby Fox can deliver one of the year's biggest hits in Undertale. Why a small studio like Ninja Theory can take you on a thrilling personal journey with AAA production values in Hellblade. And our own worldwide studios can bring alive Horizon Zero Dawn's breathtaking wilderness in dynamic 4K resolution and HDR. Furthermore, you can expect innovative new dimensions in gameplay as we continue to explore the possibilities of virtual reality. Yeah, that was really good. This is awesome. The bottom line is that there is so much power and potential packed into PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro that innovation will continue to accelerate and proliferate in the coming months and years. With more than 225 games offering graphical enhancements on PlayStation 4 Pro, and more than 100 games compatible with PlayStation VR, PlayStation is already the best place to play. As we will show you tonight, it's thrilling to think there's even more to come. While we continue to focus on bringing you the games you love, God, we're like, also focused the ghost game looks great, period. The PlayStation community. But I was like, oh, we'll see who's we're and excited then, about innovation yeah. like PlayLink. Highly social, easy to play, localized. Ghost is a cool fun. name. Yeah. We've the rest of it out. Ghost of Tsushima is you with over 3 million it, downloads to racist. date. And see more social and family oriented games give us an opportunity to expand our reach. I should probably and amplify we have our mission to stuff. be <laughs> the best place to play. The past 20 years have seen trends come and trends go. Dude. We're still here. They're killing it. Stronger than ever. This is like such a traditional conference. The ecosystem of today will be more powerful, more engaging, and more immersive tomorrow. The maturity of the gaming industry is an incredible asset to a dynamic and exciting future for PlayStation. Ultimately, words mean little. Action is everything, and the proof is in the journey into the extraordinary worlds of new titles 
and new experiences that you're about to enjoy. I think you'll agree that the best place to play just keeps getting better. So let's take a look at some of the most sought after exclusive content our industry has ever seen. Pat upon remaster. Pat upon <laughs> two remaster. That's the developer. Yeah. Pixel Opus, I like. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh. <laughs> Pixel Puss? <laughs> I would like that name too. I thought too. the O was just like a like logo thing. <laughs> Pixel Puss. <laughs> oh fuck, it's Wonder Book 2. <laughs> Shit, this actually looks good. Cool, Greg! Greg, they're graffitiing! There's a graffiti game! <laughs> Mark Echoes getting up to 2017 edition. This game looks good. Oh my god. He looks like he's dressed like Delson from Infamous and he's doing graffiti. And it looks like Seattle. This is Infamous <laughs> first son, second time. <laughs> Open platforming, alright. Oh look, he's making the guy's work. Uh oh. I bullies. thought they we were got bullies. Hanging. Homeless bullies. Oh, fuck. <laughs> got him. Now draw the monster that'll kill him. Just fucking all of a sudden brutal fatalities. He's like taking the stick and running through their bodies. PlayStation 3, we're gonna make a weird fucking game for yeah. PlayStation. Oh, epic game. War Inspectors. In collaboration with Pixel Bus. Delson Rowe is back. <laughs> collaboration with Pixel Bus. <laughs> the chat really enjoyed that. <laughs> Pixel Bus. Concrete Genie. That's what they call Cool Grey. That's what we will from now on. That looked great. Oh fuck, everybody. I was going to say, uh, get away. That's what I meant. I've been watching you, Erica. Cool Greg just gave this the seal of approval to Concrete Genie. I've been watching you for a very long Ooh. time. Damn. Chad, damn. Wait. It looked CG Was and that? then it yeah, looked yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. They've been watching you too. That's real. This is real. This is real. <laughs> These are real people. Just remember. Damn. Don't break the seal. Don't trust me. Her story. PlayStation. I can't protect you. This looks fucking great. Yeah, this is cool. Playlink, man, killing it. What the fuck? They got people yeah, boozing up in the Look at him. Shoo, hey! How baller would it be just sitting there with Shoo, hey? 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> I had to learn to be the hero. Started on a heaven's hero. In a city like a jungle, I had to get my Fail. Resi 7, my favorite. Resi 7. Never give you gotta take. Be the catapult to storm the gaze. Cause the champion is never given and see you through till the end of days. Till the end of days. The world has changed. It's been ripped apart by an unknown force. It's like you're in the horizon world. The League of War. Is that the Elijah Wooden? Is it? I can't remember. Monster of the Deep. Come to see what's biting, have you? Yeah, yeah okay, that is the Elijah Wood game. Chat's parents. Thanks, guys. Thanks, chat. Still we are. More London. My name is Ryan Marks. I left London to be a soldier. But then they came for my family. Now I'm back, taking shit. and everything just got a little bit. Looks like there's a lot of movement for a VR game. Complicated. I'm a professional soldier. Don't take bad man for a joker. I don't want to do man over, but I'm raw getting closer and closer. Get shit resolved, I'm quick. No glamouring hits, just glamouring grit. I'm on my ting, won't quit. I'm a real bad man, I get a bad man hit. I'm coming for you. I get this result. I'm coming for you. Show no I think these are the guys who did the Stop cheeky Nando song. Fucking dead. Wait, listen. It was all his idea. He wanted yeah. to Please. Today a legend is born. Ready for vengeance, ready for war. Ready for anything, ready for more. My English gangs are telling me to I'm coming for you. This looks good. Yeah. Also, shout out to whoever did the video all man. They're fucking killing it. I think it's Matt Scarpino. Matt Scarpino, the man. in the game, says so spider shot. Yeah, no, really good. Ryan, get out of there! They're committing to PSVR? Yeah. In a way that I did not expect them to. I mean, that looked like first person Bond, right? Or Taken, or whatever. Yeah. Like, that's cool. That's a cool idea. That's what people want. They want real games, quote, quote unquote, right? As PlayStation VR marks its first year in the market, it's really moving to see how development teams are starting to see the raw power of this game-changing technology. We're witnessing the birth of new styles of gaming, storytelling, and visceral experiences. The future of PlayStation this VR one? is extremely bright, and we look forward to unveiling more in the near future. One of the consistent factors in our success over the four generations of consoles has been the unwavering support of our partners. We were delighted to feature a massive amount of indie and VR content in the pre-show. And now it's time to showcase six games, all of which offer features and benefits unique to PlayStation from some of our most valued partners, 
all of whom we've been working with from the very beginning. Let's start with a new trailer from our friends at Ubisoft. Far Cry 5. Folks, it's a beautiful sunny weekend in Hope County. How will you be spending your time outdoors? Really looking forward to this. Mm. Is still causing trouble. I'm gonna pet that kitty. Then I'm gonna skin it and make a wallet. Whoa! I'm just gonna go to the spread eagle. Yeah, there's two ways of it. Can't use this song in the trailer. Why not? Oh, cause smash, cause smash, smash used it and killed it. 64. It takes a bite out of fish. When Nintendo announces the next match, yeah, I say that we have a remake of that commercial ready. So okay. Just give that. Sure. Yeah. It's yours. You can use it. That is new information, correct? No, I think so. February 27. No, remember when they did the big trailer reveal or whatever, it ended with that, and everybody was like, what? Kestrel 13 says about Far Cry, this was going to be good, and then they were like, fuck Guardian, that, let's make GTA Online. What I'm about to tell you stays between us. While we have been fighting, an ancient gate has opened on oh, Mercury, no. and an army of past and future machines amasses. They intend to reshape the universe in their image. But there is one who has glimpsed this dark future. He was my mentor, Osiris, the most notorious guardian in Vanguard history. The trials of Osiris. Once, his dangerous ideas nearly destroyed us. And he was banished. Now he has returned. But will he be a powerful ally or bring us death? You are the one thing they have not foreseen. Go to Mercury and find Osiris. Time is not on our side. Wow. That's new pressure. Lego Dimensions. You're saving it. No, just going through the tomorrow hall. Okay. Mm, Monster Hunter. No, probably not. Liked it on PSP fine when I had to review them, but it just wasn't my kind of game in terms yeah. of how long it took to do stuff and all that jazz. There's so many other big games, games as service I need to play. I mean, it's crazy to see how this looks. Oh, though. sure, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Maybe I'll play it and be wrong. I don't know. Like, I do like the series. I just don't see myself making make the time for it. Because the one thing that always lacks that I do like is a story, right? Mm. Like, this literally is, all right, just go sh kill shit. Like, that works for me, like as an end game to Peace Walker or whatever, but like, or even Metal Gear 5, or, but not, you know, just to go do that from the beginning. Cheesy Queso Frog says- and Bullfish says, poor Capcom, I hope they feel better soon. Cheesy Queso <laughs> says, so these six games must be the third party games. Correct, he said, they six of their partners, each game having unique PlayStation benefits. So far we've seen Far Cry 5, Destiny 2, and Monster Hunter. With three more to go with unique benefits to the PlayStation brand. I really like how they've set this conference up, especially with the pre show going into this, where yeah. it's like kind of indies, VR, PlayLink, third party.
monster in the world. Yeah! <laughs> in monster, oh, now I'm in. Cheer, cheer, cheer. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, the beta. Okay. 12.9. I love the, the moment of like, what's it gonna be next? World War II, Call of Duty. This one too. <laughs> All six of the games. <laughs> I was at GameStop yesterday. Watched the trailer uh -huh. that they put out for this. I'm, th I'm really looking forward to single player in this. Of like just a band of brothers. Here we are. Like, have you seen this trailer? Because I hadn't seen it. No. Where they're all lined up, like with like uh, the Nazis are, you know, like giving them all shit or whatever. And like the one dude, like slowly takes off his dog tags and drops them on the ground, and, like st stops them in the dirt so they don't figure out he's an American soldier or whatever. I was like, if they can actually deliver that those kind of moments in the game of like, hey, here's a story and you are these guys in World War II, that'll be awesome. I don't agree, but it's a funny comment. Toiler Seat Gamer YouTube. If you're an Xbox One fanboy, you're pretty much fucked at this moment. <laughs> By the season pass and get the Carrington bonus map. Six. No. I don't think. Hold on. Far Cry, Destiny, Monster Hunter, Call of Duty. We had that thing that everybody Some racist fucking game. <laughs> Which one do they do? I don't remember. It's fuel. <laughs> the driver kind of looked like Sasha Banks, so you know who looks hyped to do. I like the way they cut this trailer, though. Yeah. That looks sick, though. Well, yeah, but what, what is it? Going just for? racing. Here we go. An exclusive to PlayStation. Mitchie D is a skin. God, the music in this game is so fucking good. Exclusively on PlayStation 4. I mean, <laughs> and he's, going, he's got two lightsabers. Everybody's like, "Fuck that cannon!" Janina, what up? I don't get too hyped, but on schedule, 
Janine is in to do kind of funny games daily with me this week. Ooh. But she's like one Thank of these people who's always going to hang out with Anthony Carboni, it's a so I don't know. privilege to have your titles on our platform. A key differentiator for PlayStation is its best in class development teams that make up worldwide studios. We have a great lineup of exclusive games coming soon, only on PlayStation 4. Let's take a look. Spider-Man! Fisk behind bars. What's next? And the city's safer than ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Peter Parker can have more of a life. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no, I mean, I mean I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Take care of this, please. It represents the best part of me. Smiles is going to be helping out around here. For acts of extraordinary bravery. I'm the one who kept order in this city! What is this? Devil's breath. Your city and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. Get more backup. Wait! We've got to play this just right. Maybe the city needs our friend more than you think. Shocker, yeah, we go. Right, good. Yeah. Colin's happy. <laughs> Put a fucking date up. Anyone else need a breather? Damn it. Oh, no. Damn it, Brian and your team. Man, that's really disappointing. It is really disappointing. But here we go. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Cara. Got it? Right away, Todd. If they give me a date for this, I'll be stuck. Aren't you going to school today? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. <laughs> I was hoping to be a USB she like puts in her head or something. This game's gonna be fucking yeah, holy awesome. Shit. God damn it, Quantic Dream's back. Rage out.
like you. Uh, all right, okay. I'm getting there. Better Spring than better than nothing. I mean, we already. That's what they say. You're like, all right, all right. I need a megaton punch. I need to. We need to land one of these games. And guess what? It's God of War in March. <laughs> surprise! Surprise! That looked incredible. Though. That you know, don't get me wrong. Game is amazing. Can't wait. Here we go. them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Doesn't sound like a soul eater. What? What do you think it is? We shall see, boy. <laughs> I j don't get me wrong. Game looks great. I just feel like they made second part of E3. I didn't need to see more of any of these games. Yeah. I mean, just tell me when I can play. All right, here we go. At least something I'll, here. We'll definitely get. Well, we already know the release date on this, but hey, whatever. I'll be stoked about it. Finally, look at it. Your bird face. Frozen Wilds. Please welcome Aloy. I can't believe this is real. His weak spots is anus. <laughs> can't dance in the chat says I think something got lost in translation this isn't e3 part two it's just e3 done twice <laughs> <Get 'em. laughs> Diogo gosh says his weak spot is his pussy good lord <laughs> hey man I brought this hell upon us I apologize but
orchestrated soundtrack. Look at, the, awesome. look at that fur. I learned that from Last Guardian. Oh. 2018? Let me guess. You're just going to say 2018? Oh, now you're going to say Okay, cool. Right. Hopefully, we've made one thing clear to you tonight. It's we a don't great like time to release dates. <laughs> To close the show, let's have the first in-depth look at a much-anticipated and exclusive title. Dreams. From everyone at PlayStation, thank you for your continued support. Good night. What dreams last of us, Kojima? Dreams looks crazy, guys. Uh, yeah. Day's gone. So he says, Crackdown three. Seems like overkill. They are nested with sin. Free them that they may know my. Clip her wings. I don't like this. Jesus. Oh. Oh. oh! Fucking good lord. Clip her wings. Come on, Ellie. Come and get her. Save her, Ellie. Yara. 
demons are coming. Cut her down. She's one of them. Left. You know what it means. <laughs> we don't have to put words up anymore. Yeah, we get the hype recap everything here. That was unnerving. Yeah, no, that was a brutal, 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 brutal trailer. Brutal, 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 brutal. I'm the one that makes people see you stand up. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, is this, uh, Sizzle Reel rolls up. We're going to roll right into our post show, which will be Kind of Funny Games Daily. I need you to be part of the show. Kindoffunny.com slash KFGD to get your live questions in so we can talk about everything we saw here. It's going to be obviously pretty heavily influenced by everything we've seen here. So, that there be the point. All right, so Kevin's going to cut here for everybody watching later on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. You go in there. I'll give you a, a 30. I'll, yeah, I'll, right? I imagine, yeah. I mean, let's wait, I guess. So let's just wait till the thing's over or over, and then we'll, we'll get in there and do it. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, did you know about the thing over there now? Hey. Oh, nice. Sean Layden, what up? Rocking that scarf is always Ooh. Sean Layden looking fine. All right, there you go, Kevin. You can go over and do whatever you need to do. Or it's cool, right? Cutting it. All right, cool. You want your outro then? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much over on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games for watching our watch along to the Sony Paris Games Week press conference. We're about to roll into, of course, Kind of Funny Games Daily, our live reaction post show thingamajig. You can catch that as well, obviously, on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games, podcast services around the globe. We record it live on Twitch.tv. Slash kind of funny games. But no matter where you've been watching us today, thank you so much for watching us. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.